what's up guys this is Alex here with another cool tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on creating that lock on effect uh, for your gameplay now there's two or actually three things you need to do before starting this tutorial first thing is that you need to have a 60 frames per second video game clip if you don't have a 60 fps clip then you won't get the same result as I do in this video Set, second thing you need to do is uh, download the pack for the template I am using in this video from Mediafire and you can find the link to that template in the description. Now on to the third thing. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create that lock on effect but not how to slow down your video. So basically I slow down this video using Twixter and I have a Twixter tutorial so if you click on the annotation above and what you need to do is slow it down when you have multiple targets or just one target on the screen and slow it down to 1% and then as you make your first shot bring it back up to 100% so click on the annotation above to watch my Twixter tutorial render that out and then bring it back into Sony Vegas now the first thing you want to do when you bring that uh, slow down clip into Sony Vegas is to create two markers. You click anywhere on the video clip and press M. That will create a marker. And you want to create a marker first when uh, your video slows down and then place another marker when your video speeds back up. So after this create two new video tracks. And then set both of the compositing mode of the video tracks to add. And if you go into my pack, there's a file named comp1. Bring it on to the top video track and shorten it to about halfway between those two markers. And hover your cursor at the end of your uh, the template hold control and then drag it to the right to slow down the video clip so we're gonna fade in the template so if you fade in and then fade it out at the end of the video clip And after you've done that, click on the event pan crop tool and zoom in all the way in so that's inside the circle and you can't see anything on the screen as of now. Now make sure you have this sync cursor thing checked. And what you want to do is go to the end of the fade out on the first fading create a new keyframe and then bring it back about one frame and you go for it about three or five frames and then what you want to do next is bring this little box and zoom out and zoom out until the circle is about the same size as the target and after you've done that you want to move it so that it's right onto the target and we're going to keep moving it depending on how much your target moves. So if I go forward in the video, my targets can move a little bit. And you want to change your uh, you want to change how much the circle or the lock on effect moves depending on how your character moves. Now, basically, that's the basis of this uh, tutorial, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create multiple lock-on effects uh, for your video. So click on your template, hold control, click and drag it to the video track under this video track, and 
that will duplicate this template along with all the keyframes in the event pan crop tool. Now go to the uh, second template, the one you just copied. Go to event pan crop. It makes sure that the first two keyframes are deleted. And then drag the third keyframe all the way forward and then delete the rest of the keyframes. And then what you want to do next is drag it to about halfway of the original template. And again, do the same process you did to uh, zoom in with your lock on effect except when you go at the end of the fade in what you want to do is you're going to actually move it to your second target and then you're going to zoom out more depending on how far your second target is from your first target gonna make it this small and I'm just gonna go forward so that my lock on effect kind of tracks onto my target and that's basically it and we're gonna be doing uh, another effect where we change the target color of the first lock on to red after the uh, lock on effect duplicates itself. So go to video effects, go to color balance, drag the default onto the, the full length uh, template, and then we're going to click on animate for red and go to the beginning of the second template and make sure this is checked add a keyframe and go forward towards the end of the fade offset of the second template and make sure this red value is set to its highest value go back and click on animate for the green select the green make a new keyframe go to the same position as the uh, red keyframe and then bring this green value all the way down and do the same process for the blue also so that turns completely red so that's the basis of this tutorial so let's preview it Okay, so basically we're done. Now we're going to be adding the sound effects. <clears throat> so in the pack, I've included four sound effects. So let's drag them on to the timeline. And let's preview them. So I'm just going to use this sound effect for the target lock on so let's preview it with the video and you want to sync it according to how fast your target locks on to your target and you can add another sound effect
So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And one thing I forgot to mention is that I've included an image for the crosshair. And basically to track this, you do the same process as you did for the lock on template. That's just one minor thing, you don't have to include this. So yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And one other thing. If you go to my channel, there's playlists. I have two playlists. Actually, just one. And it's called Sony Vegas Pro Montage Effects. And I have about 20 tutorials on different montage effects. And if you haven't seen all of them, please view uh, some of my effects. Such as the mask bounce effect. This one. And I have many other effects too. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. If you have any more questions, please ask me in the comments. I'll reply to them within one or two days. Uh, subscribe if you already haven't. And share this video with your friends. And if you have any tutorial requests, just send me a message. And I'll see you guys next time.